Right, let's see if we can do this. Sausage roll, sausage roll. There it is. Well done. Good boy, sausage. Now I got a ride or die. So guys, it is a beautiful day in the UK. We are back on the 106. Now, if you didn't know, I actually bought some new wheels for it off eBay in an auction. Bought them relatively cheap. Some people really, really like them. I think 99.9% .9 of people absolutely love the idea of these wheels. The 1% were like, why are you putting steel wheels on a car? But I can't explain to you how cool these wheels are. So today we are going to be respraying them on my driveway. Now this is the current condition of the wheels. As you can see, they are rusty. There is, you know, age related marks all over the wheels. These are the two that I would say have been outside the longest. These two I think have been inside or maybe covered up a little bit more. So we're going to sand these back. This is all of the bits that I've bought. Now I'm going to show you guys what I've bought because again, like I like to show on everything I do, especially on driveways and stuff. I like to show you how much stuff is and where to get it. Now all of this was purchased off eBay. So what we've got is some grey primer. That was about £7, £8 posted. We have some clear. Again, that was about seven, eight pounds posted. We have two cans of white spray paint because of course I want to go back to the sort of factory looking white that these come from the factory with. So I've got two cans of that to really, really go through and try and get as clear and as nice white as I possibly can onto these rally steels. We have some sandpaper as well. I've got a few bits going from 80 grit up to 120 grit just to get as much of the initial horribleness that is on these wheels now all of this stuff came to 30 pounds posted for the lot so this is more like a cheap way to actually spray your wheels for under 30 quid on your driveway so i think for the sake of 30 quid we'll have a go today we'll try and get as much as we can off of these wheels rust wise i think there's a good amount of sanding and just trying to fetter with these to actually get a good finish off them to start with but we're going to start by sanding them back and just see how bad they are they could do with some work so We'll start sanding. Now, of course, there is multiple ways of you actually doing this. This is just what I'm doing today. So I've started to sand the first one down uh, with what I believe to be 120 on the sandpaper. Now that's actually giving quite a good smooth surface and it's getting all of the rusty horribleness off the actual faces of these. I've also just let all of the air out of this one just to try and break away and try and get into all the grooves that are around here. Now, of course, because we're on lockdown, there isn't actually any tire places open what the, the the idea would be that you would go to a tire place and get all the tires and valves taken off all the wheel weights taken off but that isn't even an option today because everything's closed which is a bit of a shame that is obviously the one thing i would love to do is actually get these tires off and do them properly but for driveway builds or driveway diy in the middle of uh, a crisis lockdown this is about as far as we're going to get with the refurb of these obviously down the line and i will point this out now i would love to power to coat them so once everything's back up and running i might whip them off again and just get them done properly but today we're just going to go with what i can do on a driveway with the tires off hope you guys understand that yeah that's about as far as we can go today wild sausage appears hey beautiful what are you up to he really just isn't interested Do you know what it is he's, he's on the hunt for food although he's just eaten he still wants loads of food so will free is in preparation i've actually spent half an hour so basically an hour on the front two or rear two however you want to look at it so yeah about half an hour per wheel is actually being uh used and my my fingers are absolutely killing me 
a hand sanding these. Sausage! Slinky was about to come and say hello then, but he looked at me and I think he's found a bird that he wants to go and chase. So we'll try and get him over here in a minute. So multiple hours later, about two hours, I've taken to actually sand these back. The next thing I'm going to do is obviously clean them back in a second, but I'm going to take all of these out. I wasn't going to do it. I was going to have to take the valves out, but I want a proper uh, nice job around the actual valve itself. So I'm just going to cut these off. It, very, very easy. You could actually do it with a pair of pliers. And yeah, you would do this if you were changing your valves and your tires, I think. But if you were not doing that and you were just getting, you know, the color back on your wheels, you would just leave them on. But I'm going to replace these anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. Too happy with all of that. Just cleaned the wheels back because obviously when you sand something you need to take all the sandiness off it look how bad my hands are though this is like two hours of solid just scrubbing the rust off these things with sandpaper now of course in an ideal world i'd have something to actually help me do that a machine of some sorts but driveway builds and all that i think all of the sandpaper was about three or four quid posted so not too bad and it seems to have done the trick which is good next thing is going to be a little trick that i did about 10 years ago when uh, spraying some wheels on my driveway is using a set of playing cards around uh, the rim and between the tire now of course as I've already explained we can't go and get the tires actually taken off of these wheels today unfortunately again it's not essential so I'm not going to go and do it but yeah it means there's a seal in theory between the actual wheel and the tire so these again were like £1.80 posted off eBay so I thought I'd use these as a little trick to actually get in the groove between the wheel and the tire of course I am actually going to dispose of these tires and i could in theory just spray over the tire but i'm not going to do that because it looks really bad in a video and this is a really good idea again if you're going to not have to change your tires this is a great way to keep the tires from not getting uh spray on them which is good anyway onwards <music> So all the cards are on. What I'll personally be doing is actually uh, priming these twice and then, uh, so two coats of primer and then I'll be doing multiple coats, maybe three or four of the actual white and then I'll do uh, one or two clears as well. You know, because my experience of doing this in the past, two coats of everything, three coats, maybe four coats of the main color and then uh, over the top with the lacquer. But yeah, we're using U-Pol stuff off eBay. Used it in the past, thought it was the go-to thing 500 mils today just one can gonna see how far we can get if we can get two coats out of all four wheels on this would be pretty good but we shall see but yeah give it a good shake make sure it's warm and that's a lovely warm day they've been sat in the sun so it's all good and yeah we will start the other thing i want to point out is unfortunately i'm gonna have to keep the wheel weights on i just can't get them off i literally cannot get them off of course going down the line we need to replace the wheel weights i will do that but i want to get these powder coated at some point anyway so this is just more for now right let's start priming just finished the first coat of primer uh just trying to get in the little crevices but dust over at the same time if that makes any sense again i am no sprayer i'm no uh one to tell people how to do stuff but the way i'm doing it is dusting over they're going to go past it again with another shot of primer just to get in all the crevices and stuff and then leave them to dry with about you know they're sat in the sun so about 15 minutes between sprays and then we'll go on to the white now next up we're going to be uh spraying them the color they're going to be basically after the primer goes on you put the actual color coat on now this is wheel spray Spray. professional result from ebay two of these were like a tenner which i thought was really cheap wheel paint white is exactly what that is so that's what we're after wheel paint white again i'm trying to go for a sort of glossy but not high gloss just something that looks white but yeah it come with 25 percent extra free and it was a tenner for two cans so i thought let's give it a shout five reach for two can is pretty good we'll find out how good this stuff is because again i do like buying stuff from ebay or, or anywhere that's cheap and finding out how good it actually is it saves you guys buying something that you don't really want this stuff is good i'd recommend it we'll see how it comes out shall we <laughs> one going over this is sort of the condition and sort of coverage we've got at the moment the white again going over gray is relatively hard again dusting but trying to get into all of the little crevices was sort of key especially on the lip around here and in the actual groove say dish and the actual center is where i was trying to sort of hit first so then that can get multiple layers on it so i can really get a nice white out of the crevices because it's quite easy to actually go over the centers and stuff that's not hard but actually getting into the grooves and stuff is a little bit more challenging 
challenging. But yeah, coverage all right for its first shoot over. As you can see, there is patches of gray still on them, but we'll leave it again another 15 minutes, let them heat up in the sun and that, and then we'll uh, hit them again. So we're at the point now where I've gone over, well, I just had another little blast. That's probably four times with that stuff. It's not too bad. It is giving good coverage uh, considering it was a fiver. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for them to dry and then we're going to hit it with some lacquer, leave them to dry again. We'll see the finished result. It's such an easy thing to do this for 30 quid, a little bit of elbow grease, you know, getting in all the crevices and stuff with the sandpaper. I think for a little DIY thing at home that you can do to pretty much any set of wheels, considering this is probably our three going into four pretty happy so final uh, stage of this cheap respray on the rally wheels is going to be lacquering over the top of all of the work that we've done so preparation taking as much prep time as possible two coats of the primer and then about four coats i would say of the white so not looking too bad and then we'll do i think we'll do two coats of this just to give it a good over layer and gloss at the same time yeah we should be pretty golden <laughs> these to dry in the sun for a bit we'll just take the cards out again really good idea to uh use the cards you can use masking tape and stuff it's just a simple way of doing it and yeah so finished results pretty happy considering it's a driveway respray at the end of the day with 30 quid's worth of paint bought off ebay there is uh, a fair few imperfections a couple of runs here and there that i've been able to get out and a couple of like spiders i saw a spider on one of them a minute ago and i was like get off get off so yeah you're gonna get those elements uh in your respray of your wheels if you're going to do it outside but yeah really happy with how that's actually came out and yeah they should look pretty good on the 106 when it comes out of respray once we get some nice tires on them some nice new valves they're going to look sick so yeah for the sake of 30 quid respraying your wheels is a simple thing you can do during lockdown on your driveway if you want to again all of these supplies were actually bought off ebay for around 30 quid posted for the whole lot so that's the sandpaper the actual gray primer the paint and the lacquer so yeah super simple thing you can do to pretty much any car to any set of wheels and although down the line don't get me wrong i would like to powder coat these and do them properly this is again a very simple and cheap effective way of getting a good fresh set of color on some wheels anyway guys thank you so much for watching i'm an absolute mess i mean look at my hands look at my face completely covered and slightly high due to the paint fumes but it was all totally worth it again make sure you like share and subscribe check out fydapparel.com we've got a couple new drops on the website right now a couple new stickers and some new t-shirts are up right now go over support the channel support the builds by grabbing yourself something to support the channel anyway guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one